Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurns Almond of Scott Selections here for Tuesday, May 23rd. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a loss in the NBA with Austin Reeves over 17 and a half points and minus 110 in bet MGM. Pretty tough beat there. Reeves finished with 17 points. He still shot the ball well. Unfortunately, the volume was just not there. He somehow only attempted two three pointers in the entire game, made one of them. I don't really know why he did not attempt more shots in general. LeBron went nuclear in the first half, took a bunch of shots, and the offense kind of flowed through him. But I did think Reeves would get a little bit more volume. He played a bunch of minutes, so the playing time was there, and unfortunately, the volume was not. I said that you probably would finish with around 12 or 13 shots, and he finished with 11, so he probably could have used that 12th one. But Reeves played 41 minutes, so he played a lot, just unfortunately didn't get there and look for a winner here on Tuesday. And for today's play, that is staying in the NBA. Going to look at game four between the Celtics and the Heat, taking place at around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, going to take the Heat on the money line at minus 118 on FanDuel, time recording of 2.30 a.m., Eastern time. Cumberland's why we're going to take the heat in the spot. First reason, Miami obviously up 3 0 in the series. They've looked like the much better team so far. And a big reason for that has been how bad all, uh, Boston's defense has been. I know people have criticized Boston's offense, and it makes sense for their fourth quarter execution. But the defense has really been a problem, as Miami is averaging 120.7 points per game in the series. On top of that, Miami's been unbeatable at home during the actual bracket, as Miami has won each of its last seven home games by at least four points. And the real story and the main reason why I'm going to take Miami is because of the fact that Boston not only lost the first three games in this series, but they quit in game three. Simply put, it was a must-win game on the road, and they no-showed it. They got buried from start to finish. They lost the game by 20 and change. And the point is with Boston quitting and with some of the post-game press conference quotes and everything of that nature, it does seem like Boston just has too much dysfunction to actually rally, and I think they might roll over again in Game 4. But you had Missoula, who was talking to the media after Game 3, and he basically said that he lost the locker room. You had Jalen Brown making some comments about his teammates, etc. Jalen Brown has also been really underwhelming in the series. Tatum has no made field goals in the entire fourth quarter in the series. The point is Boston from top to bottom, has really just looked like a dysfunctional team. And you can blame that on the coaching, you can blame that on Tatum or Brown. But either way, the point is this team looks completely shell-shocked at the moment. And I think as a result, Miami is going to take care of business. I'm not worried about a letdown spot for Miami because we know this is the same exact team that beat Miami last year. And with Jimmy Butler definitely wanting to get some revenge here, I think Miami is going to be motivated to end the series early. And I think they're going to be motivated to, as a result, win this game in uh, to win this game comfortably and to sweep. But with Boston being so underwhelming, both offensively and defensively, and with the current question marks you have with the coaching staff, as well as their star players and how they not, they're not exactly engaged at all. At least Tatum's tried for three plus quarters in some of these games. Brown has basically no showed the entire series, and I think as a result, Boston once again will check out if Miami jumps them early, but Miami's been great at home all postseason long. They've been great offensively this entire series. Defensively, they've been great as well, and I think as a result, Boston will lose in this game. On top of that, Boston is 0-5 ATS in the last five meetings, so Miami's done well against the Celtics, against the spread. I know Miami's favored by one and a half in this game, but the point is I do think at the end of the day, Boston will probably roll over at some point, and Miami's going to bring it and look for the sweeps. Play that once again here for Tuesday, May 23rd is going to be on the Miami Heat money line at minus 118 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.